broiler chicken farming in six weeks you have your money within these six weeks are you able to make a profit or are you able to make a loss that is exactly what i'm going to take you through this course so that you can be able to understand and have the tips and the facts scientific facts how things ought to be done so that in a period of six weeks you have your money back plus a profit my names are in this course today we dissect broiler farming right from scratch up to cost benefit analysis and so join us in this master class so that you can be able to learn Greetings and welcome to this course where we learn much about broiler nutrition. Well, broiler chicken farming is one of the most preferred agribusiness entity in terms of poultry farming and mostly for urban farmers. This is because it will take you a shorter period from inception to disposal of the birds to the market. Broiler can be very profitable well if you control the costs of production and if you check on mortality and how do you control the costs of production you will understand that the major cost of production actually is feeds feeds contributes up to 82 percent of the total cost of production in broiler farming and therefore it is important for you to understand how you can cut costs in terms of feed or feeding the birds and you can only cut the costs by formulating your own feeds. One thing to note is that the cost of feeds has always been on an increasing trajectory. Whereas the quantity of feed has always been on a decreasing trajectory. What do I say by saying so? I mean, in the past few years, let's say five years, the cost of 70 kilos broiler mash averagely has been about $20 but today the cost of a 50 kilo broiler feed is about 35 US dollars the funny thing about it is as much as the cost keeps increasing and the quantity reducing the quality also keeps reducing so by you formulating your own feeds you will reduce on the cost and increase on the quality okay why is it so or what makes it that cheap when you formulate your own feeds you can be able to control the quality of the raw materials and as well you don't incur a cost of marketing a cost of packaging and even a cost of transportation that is the beauty about formulating your own feeds during feed formulation we have got three types of chicken feed and the first one is mash and we have got pellets and crumbs so i'm assuming that you want to formulate your own feeds and the cheapest option or the easiest option would be mash because mash you just need to get the raw materials and mix them and your feed is done but for you to get pellets you need to get the mash first then you will introduce some water or some moisture to make it paste like then it will be pressed in a pellet machine and then put to dry then you can get pellets after you get the pellets which are gotten under high pressure they are simply broken down or crumbs are the byproducts of pellets and mostly we feed mash to layers which are mature chicken and at the grower stage and even chicks at the early stages for broiler chicken feed we can use mash or pellets and even crumbs although 
Most farmers would prefer to use pellets and crumbs because of the higher and quick digestion and absorption of the same. But because we're formulating our own feeds, until you buy a pelleter machine, that's when you can be able to achieve pellets and crumbs. What are the sources of raw materials? Note that all the feed making raw materials are byproducts of certain final products or end products being manufactured. For example, wheat bran and wheat pollard. These are achieved in milling companies. When they're milling flour for use of making a uh, duff and all that, they dehusk the seed, the wheat grain. When they dehusk it, we get that cover or that shell as bran. Then they remove the jam so that when they grind the flour, it has a longer life shell. That jam that is removed and crushed is the one that we get now as the jam. Or when crushed into a fine powder, we get it as a pollard. When you want to get sunflower cake or cotton cake, all these are, ach are achieved or gotten from companies that are processing oil. When they press the seed to get the oil, then that remaining byproduct is what we use for making our feed. For example, soybean. Soybean is also, that's why we insist that the soybean has to be cooked or roasted. Companies that manufacture flour for porridge or even flour for making confectionery or even cakes will use soybean, but then the byproduct that is gotten from that is what we use to make chicken feed. Therefore, it is only the micro ingredients like the lysine, zinc, tritophan, methionine, and all that that are attained or gotten from factories that will manufacture them purposely for that use. But the remaining ingredients will be manufactured or will be achieved as byproducts of the whole ingredients. So, what feeds are required to feed boilers and in what stages do you require these feeds? When you want to formulate broiler feeds, you break it into two. Broiler chicken will feed on broiler starter mash, that is from week one up to week three, and feed on broiler finisher from week three up to week six, or week four up to week six. Cost-benefit analysis of broiler feed formulation, broiler starter mash. A 70 kilos bag of broiler starter mash from the agrovets or feed stores would cost you on average 30 to 36 US dollars. Homemade broiler starter mash would cost you 28 US dollars on average. Therefore, a farmer saves 2 to 8 dollars per bag. The feed quality is also very high. Remember that broiler starter mash has to have a DCP of at least 22%. Therefore, the proteins or ingredients that are rich in proteins used are very high. This aspect can be controlled by you manufacturing or formulating your own feeds at home. Since you can be able to check the quality of these protein supplying ingredients. But now for feed, for, for feed being manufactured in industries and sold in agrovets, you as a farmer you are not able to check these parameters in these protein sources. Therefore, you find that this would make the feed far much expensive than it ought to be, and therefore the consumers won't buy. Therefore, manufacturers of feed sold in stores and aggravates would compromise the quality of inputs so that they can be able to make a profit out of it, meaning that they will use low protein supply supplements or low quality protein ingredients that's why it then becomes very important that as much as you're saving a shilling in manufacturing or formulating your own feed at home you also check on the quality for broiler finisher mash a 50 kilo bag of broiler finisher mash would cost you 25 to 30 dollars at a feed store or an aggravet whereas homemade broiler mash or finisher mash would cost you 17 us dollars on average that is a 50 kg bag therefore a farmer would save 8 to 13 US dollars per bag. 
the feed quality is equally very high compared to feed purchased from the feed stores. Remember? There is no cost of marketing. There is no cost of transportation. There is no cost of branding. There is no cost of getting government permits so that you can be able to practice and sell the feed. And there is no competition as such. Therefore, I recommend that feed formulation at home is far much profitable since it is cheaper and quality and therefore as a farmer you are able to meet your objectives or your targets on time.